Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're gonna be doing a Snapchat Q&A and I'm super duper excited. Um, I have not opened them yet, they're all unopened. I cannot wait to see what you guys have to say. I'm kind of nervous, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I wanted to make this Q&A specifically about hair, all things hair. Um, so I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Let's get to it. Okay, so I told you guys, oh wow, I just got really excited. Okay, so <laughs> I told you guys that um, if you sent me a video or a photo that I would be showing it on here, but if you just sent me like a Snapchat text, um, then I will keep it anonymous. So let's just jump right in. The very first one that I got um, was from Leslie Janessa24, and she sent me a photo. Aww. What is the most scariest thing that has ever happened to you? Okay, that's precious. Um, that is so freaking cute. So since I wanted these to be hair related, I will say that one of the scariest hair related things that ever happened to me was when I went to a different hairdresser to get um, my hair colored. I just tried someone else and they ended up making my hair like legitimately strawberry blonde, like basically just strawberry. Um, my roots were just like totally red and it was the most awful color on me. Like it's such a beautiful color on so many people, but it did not work for me. So that was definitely the scariest like hair story I've ever had. I just like totally freaked out. I was super over dramatic about it. But for a lot of women I know like your hair is like your baby and like if someone cut off my hair or like dyed it red, like it was it was traumatic to say the least. Okay, our next question is from Sella or Chella. Hey India, as a fellow curly haired girl, I'm just wondering if there's one product that you keep coming back to after all these years. Oh my gosh, shut up. You are so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I seriously love seeing your faces. Like, it makes me so happy. Sorry, I just got like really excited. <laughs> Okay, I just ran to grab my favorite product that is always, always, always my go-to. So that is 300% Bumble and Bumble's BB Curl line, specifically their conditioner. It can be used as a regular conditioner, a leave-in, and a co-wash. And I know that this product is so pricey, and like it is so pricey, but like I mean, I've used it up like a million times. It's just so phenomenal. Um, I just I don't have enough good things to say about it. I would truly recommend it to anyone. Um, one of my favorite things about this conditioner is that it fits all curl types, whether you have wavy hair, wavy curls, curly hair, kinky curly hair, spirally hair, whatever type you have, this conditioner is going to rock your world. Um, Bumble and Bumble is just like, <sighs> they can do no wrong in my, in my eyes, they can do no wrong. So this is definitely, definitely my go-to. Tor Rose says, what do you use for frizz and what do you recommend for hair growth? P.S. I am not Carson Daly. <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Um, frizz is probably one of, I wanna say the number one question that I get asked on my channel actually. And I think it's something that wavy and curly haired girls deal with and struggle with a lot. Um, it's definitely not the easiest and I don't claim to be an expert. But Lorraine Massey, who is the creator and founder of Diva Curl, says that frizz is a curl begging for moisture. And I cannot find that to be true enough. I definitely find, like even lately for instance, my hair is definitely more fuzzed up than usual. And that's because I've had so many tests. It's like midterm season or semester in college. And so I've just, I haven't been deep conditioning, I haven't been doing hair masks, you know, I haven't been taking care of it. And when I get back into my moisturizing routine, my curls are gonna come back to life. Um, but I will do a separate video dedicated specifically to frizz. So thank you for asking that question, Carson Daly. All right, next question is a snap text, so I'm just gonna leave this one anonymous. And you said, <laughs> do you have any advice on shampoo for Oh, wavy hair that is frizzy and has no shine. Thanks. Um, honestly, shampoo and conditioner wise, I would say Diva Curls No Poo and One Condition Delight. Um, and then I would pair it with their Wave Maker. 
it's honestly just so phenomenal. Like all of their hair products together just work really, really, really well. I think um, one of the mistakes I made at first with their shampoos and conditioners is not, I, would, I always thought for some reason that you were supposed to like squeeze all the water out of your hair before you apply like shampoo and conditioner, but with their products, their PR team told me that you want to soak your hair and then apply your conditioner. So that actually made a big difference for me. And I would I would definitely recommend the Wave Maker. My favorite thing about their products is that they're sulfate, silicone, and paraben free. So they're just honestly phenomenal for your hair. They're gonna give you that that pretty defined wavy look without giving you that crunchy uh, I hate crunchy. I don't even like the word crunchy. Um just like those crunchy waves, like those are the worst. So definitely that combination. And then as far as shine goes, I would be sure to rinse with cold water. That is like my number one tip for shine. Um, definitely when you're done with your conditioner or your deep conditioner or whatever, when you're done with your shower, just rinse it off with cold water and it's going to help seal in all the moisture and close the hair cuticle. Girl, you'll be shining for days. All right, we have another anonymous question. This one says, how do you prevent or help breakage? I don't use heat and still have breakage. That's a hard question. Breakage is, is a hard question. Um, I would say, are you using leave-in conditioners? I know if you have a lot of buildup on your scalp, like if you're using um, a leave-in conditioner for moisture, if you're um, applying tons of oils to your head, if you're not really getting all that buildup of products out of your hair, uh, it's just too much. It's gonna weigh down your hair and it's just gonna snap right off. So I would definitely recommend using like a clarifying shampoo even like once a month if you still wanna do deep conditioning so that you can just kinda like start fresh and your hair won't be weighed down and, and able to break as easily. Another tip with um, hair breakage would definitely be, as silly as it sounds, to be gentle with it. Treat it like a little baby. All right, our next question is from Ana Cristina Nira Ramos. So I don't know if you guys could hear her question, but she asked how to control if your hair is curly or wavy one day. And I, I don't think that there's a perfect answer to that, unfortunately. Um, I think definitely if your hair is curly and you want it to be wavier, you know, you can add um, some pins to the end of your curls to kind of weigh them down so that they're more of like an S pattern. I know for me personally, I find that products have a lot to do with how my hair turns out. Um, if I use Diva Curls, like One Condition Delight, um, their Wave Maker, you know, I'm gonna get more of like a wavy, very, very loose curl kind of effect. Um, this is two or three day old Diva Curl Wave Maker, so it's just kind of like a messy, beachy, like mermaidy wave kind of look. Whereas for me, I know if I want like a tighter, um, like more of a spirally curl, then I co-wash. I don't know why, but um, I guess just because it's so hydrating to my hair, um, they just really spring to life. So I definitely think that products have a lot to do with it. You know, scrunching techniques, weighing it down techniques. You can do different things to kind of play with your curl pattern and change it up a little bit. Okay, I have a, another question. Why don't my wash and goes last? I have 2B, 3C hair. I have to do my whole head every day and it's really frustrating and tiring. Any suggestions? That has got to be absolutely exhausting. Um, I'm super, super jealous that you have 3C hair though. Like, I would do anything to have 3C hair. But anyways, so to make your wash and goes last, you really, really have to find an overnight styling method that works for you. Whether it's sleeping with your hair in a scarf, um, putting your hair up in like a very, very loose bun, using the pineapple method. Um, I know there's another method, I haven't used it. Um, plopping, plopping, I wanna say. A lot of people have asked me about it on my channel. I've never personally done it or watched a video on it. I should probably look that up. <laughs> um, yeah, so definitely, definitely figure out what kind of overnight method works for you. Um, for me, I probably find that pineappling is my favorite. It doesn't do me justice for my ends of my hair, but it keeps my volume <gasps> so well. And it's so awesome because I used to struggle with second and third day volume, and now I don't anymore. So, um, 
yeah, you've really just got to figure out what kind of overnight styling method works best for you. And honestly, just try the different one every day for two weeks and see what works best for you. And then you will not have to re-wet your entire head of hair every night. That sounds so miserable. Best of luck, girl. You got this. All right, I think this is going to be my last question that I answer today. It says, how often do you wash your hair? If I'm being honest, probably every three days. But sometimes I can push it to four. And sometimes if I like work out or I'm just like sweaty and gross, I'll do it like two days, you know? Um, but I never, 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 never wash my hair every day. I don't care what type of hair you have. If it has any texture to it, literally at all, you should not be washing your hair every single day. Um, depending on the hair texture that you have, you can definitely push it further than other girls. Third or fourth day hair, honestly, it's probably usually either like um, in a high ponytail or in like a half up, half down, or I'll do like a cute little braid or something different. I don't usually just wear it down on the fourth day because to be honest, like fourth day, like it's looking a little crazy. All right guys, thank you so, so much for all of your questions. Um, there's seriously, it's just so wonderful to see your faces and just to hear from you, it's, it's such a blessing. So thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys. My question, my question. <laughs>